what's up guys i am just trying to set up everything how are you guys doing today it is super hot here i'm in india if you don't know me if you have this is the first time you seen me my name is anika and um i live in new delhi india i am a graphic designer i've been doing this for like a year and a half or something and yeah um let me know if you can hear me properly and the music is all right hey brandon hey excellence i'm so glad to see you guys here i am super nervous and it's super hot here i'm literally sweating out here i don't know if it's because i'm nervous or if it's because it's really hot it's like 23 degrees out here it's just a little too much anyway i'm trying to see if the music is all right is the music all right guys can you hear the music and can you hear me fine how's everything how's the setup let me know in the chat and um welcome in everyone so i will be creating 3d objects from scratch as you know brandon has piqued my interest in adobe dimension and um i will be creating objects from scratch and i feel like i really do like a lot of still life so today i'm going to be doing still life in adobe dimension i will be creating in illustrator and then moving to adobe photoshop So yeah, awesome. Let's move on to the work area and see how it all looks. Okay, you were not meant to see this. I'm sorry. <laughs> One second, guys. All right, awesome. So this is my screen. We are obviously in Illustrator. If you attended my stream with Brandon last week, earlier this week actually, you know I make all my mood boards in Illustrator. Also, let me just quickly find where the chat is because I don't want to miss out on anything. I know how it feels when. when you miss on chat and you miss everything oh awesome the music and audio is good we can hear you and the music is chill awesome so because i was doing like some tests earlier and there was like some echo i really did not want any technical issues all right this is my mood board what we are going to be doing today is actually a still life 3d scene and we have some inspiration over here in illustrator this is my drawing board i have let me just zoom in a little Oh, I'm zooming in the wrong window. <laughs> There you go. No mistakes, guys. I totally see it now, Brandon. I see what you mean when you say that. <laughs> Hold on. I lost my chat. One second. Ooh, the music and audio is good. Okay, awesome. So we have like a very nice still life, very contemporary looking still life scene over here. There's some fruits. There's some apples. There's some grapes. And I don't know. There's a squirrel as well. Wow. I did not see that earlier. So we have this. we also have some wine mm who likes wine in the chat let me know if you like wine what kind of wine you like and if what are you drinking today are you drinking tea or are you drinking coffee no i do not mean wine <laughs> it's like 7:30 in the morning guys for you but it's 5 pm somewhere they say that and it is true it's 6 pm where i am okay awesome so we have um the scene over here And um yeah let's get going we will create sketches in illustrator so i will really, i think i have like a rough idea of what i want to do so i will create um like a wine bottle some glasses i don't know maybe some grapes i've done that before so that should be easy and yeah making bread in um illustrator is going to be difficult but yeah let's see how it goes awesome so let us move to our inspiration over here awesome right here i did like some uh, like a funny sketch of my idea on procreate and then i moved it to illustrator and i'm like <laughs> let's look at this and then i was comparing it and i'm like okay this looks like shit i don't want to do this all right um yeah so let us use i usually use the pen tool for everything and i use illustrator for everything if i haven't reiterated that already So let us go to our reference. I think this is the layer. I usually like to separate everything in different layers. I have my reference layer over here. I'm quickly going to decrease I'm sorry. I'm quickly going to decrease the opacity. Also, I do not have the tool timeline activated because I am on a Mac. Unfortunately, I do not have like I do not get it working for myself, but if you need to know what keyboard shortcuts I'm using, just drop it in the chat and I can I can just like um tell you what keys those are. Okay, all right. So I've just decreased the opacity for everyone who's joining in. I have just decreased the opacity a little so that I can sketch over and make them a little bit precise. So let me just go to my sketch layer and I will start with the wine bottle. Pretty basic. 
hold shift on the keyboard make all right so the fill is selected that's all right we can change that later on i select shift on the keyboard to make like a precise um line and this obviously gives you super helpful there you go i have a wine bottle guys and it doesn't look like much right now but <laughs> trust me it will okay i lost it one sec okay so we have a stroke let me see what's going on in the chat oh wow there is excellence in brandon and cow and i'm sorry i don't know if that is how you pronounce your name and that happened to me last night as well i'm really sorry <laughs> But hey, welcome in, guys. What's up? Hey, Akash. What's up? Thank you for joining. How is your weekend going? What are you drinking? I am drinking tea. So cheers, guys. I'm drinking green tea. And you know what? I'm gonna grab like a tissue paper as well because I am really sweating. Anyway, so yeah, <laughs> we have this, and um, so now I think this is not how a wine bottle looks like. Definitely not. and what what we're going to do is just curve these lines and make them a little bit nicer and sweeter so we press we select the shape we select a on the keyboard we select all these anchor points that we want to decrease select shift on the keyboard while you're selecting that and then just there you go there's the magic also i see that these are not even so you know what i'm going to do i'm just going to keep this on the side i am gonna get my ruler which i see is already there i'm just going to grab the ruler i'm just dragging in guide so that everything is perfect i feel like it has been almost like a month since i've been planning to live stream and thank you to brandon that i'm finally here i was on his live and i was super nervous but then he got me through it i made it and now i'm here all pumped and excited about my live <laughs> it took me a while guys honestly but yeah you can see how nervous i am but i think i'm going to i'm going to take it easy so i like using guides because they're super amazing they make everything perfect and i like how that works anyway if you want to know how to get the guides you press command plus r or control control plus r how to <laughs> yeah i definitely love wine to be honest gonzalo i love white wine do you like wine i don't know are you are you of legal age to drink wine yet <laughs> awesome okay so we have our guides here i go to the pen tool again i zoom in a little let's zoom in a little I select I happily select and now we don't have to do anything. So now you see the mistakes I made earlier and the beautiful beautifully perfectly geometric shape we have. And of course where there is no opacity there is definitely no stroke on here. I'm 15. <laughs> I am warm and cozy in my bed. LOL and that in fact to figure out if I have a lonesome day in the house. Well, isn't that I mean, do we ever have a lonesome day when you have created such an amazing community, Brandon? I don't think so. Or play video games or read. Decisions. Well, I've been trying to read this book forever now and I can't get through it. It's about UX design. I am remembering I am forgetting the name, but yeah. Okay. I'm 15. Please don't ask that. <laughs> hey Elsa, how are you doing? Happy to have you here. Okay, press V on the keyboard getting back. I think I'm talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm talking too much but it's all right. We knew here. It's all right. It's a given but you'll also learn I promise. Okay, press A on the keyboard, shift and press A and then you just drag. So I think it looks nice now. Much nicer than it was. Okay, I see an error now again. Dude, I am not I don't like this. Okay, one sec. So I'm just going to do this by eye because this is just like a wine bottle, right? And it's all abstract. I used to I used to paint and that's how I actually started getting into design. I used to do abstract stuff on a What is happening? Okay, yeah, I couldn't see it. So I used to paint abstract. I used to use acrylics on a canvas and that's how I actually started getting into this. And um yeah, I mean I really like how abstract shapes just define everything. They're not perfect and art is not meant to be perfect. What do you think guys? Do you think art is supposed to be perfect? Let's rile up a conversation around that. Okay, I think I'm going to um move these a little as well. Okay, yeah, it looks good now. 
what do you think guys i went from this to this <laughs> okay let's see what's happening in the chat lots of research reports for school sadly taking a break right now oh where do you go to school elsa i'm sure i asked you this before but i have a terrible memory as you can tell oh yeah there are yeah uh, i i'm with you on that brandon cotton candy that's the that's a really nice way to describe stuff <laughs> anyway okay so we have wine now now you may be wondering how am i going to turn this into a 3d object <clears throat> well right now this wine bottle is empty we do not want that and also this is just a sh- just like a basic shape to guide us we are not actually going to be taking this into photoshop we will see how it is done um to make my life easy i'm just going to take the rectangle tool over here and i'm also going to make like um a stopper i'm going to zoom in a little and i am like a cock sort of a thing looking into some crypto branding for the weekly challenge oh yeah i loved what excellence is doing he was doing on stream yesterday and brandon you should totally see what he was doing it was mind blowing to be honest he was using cinema 4d and i was like wait how do you do that <laughs> okay awesome this is like um fake top that i've made and i see that the wine is still missing so i'm just going to make like a um, line over here maybe like the wine is a little empty so yeah awesome i'm quickly going to delete this one i don't want you guys to see that and i'm also going to hide the guides i'm sure there is a keyboard shortcut for that if you guys know it please let me know and i'm going to hide okay i see it now awesome i i never remember it so we have the wine bottle awesome let's group these i go to quick actions i click on group you can also press command g and yep okay let's see what else actually you know what let's just do one and then move on to the next what do you say guys do you want to see one 3d shape first or like all the sketches first and then all the 3d shapes what do you think You like Irish cream? I'm waiting. I can't wait to see the challenge submission. I like Irish cream and coffee. It just gives me so much gas. <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. I'm just gonna make a like one 3D shape first, so you have an idea what you're in for. Okay. Let's just decrease the opacity a little, and lock this layer. I go to another layer. I go to 3D. Let's just say them. Let's just call them three D extrusions. Sketches first, please. Really, let's do all the sketches and then the three D. Okay, awesome. Well, the audience has spoken. All right, let's just go to my sketch layer again. And I actually just wanted to show you guys how it's all done. So for people who were like just joining in, I don't think. Um, okay. Anyway, yeah, let's do sketches. So I also see a wine glass, right? <laughs> yeah, I I am doing that, Brandon. Okay, let's just go um create new guides I think this should be good. Wait, I I I was hiding those guides, right? I told you to tell me tell me the shortcut. Okay, show guides. Let us undo. Okay, I think I moved this a little, but that is okay. We will create another guide. I think about this doll. The audience has spoken. Yes. the audience has gonzalo clearly okay what did i okay okay that's not what i wanted yep all right so i'm making a wine glass now this should be um no again about this doll is good i'm just making like the upper half of it and um yeah okay let's press we let's let's hide let's lock these guides lock the guides you can right click on the guide and click on lock guides and unlock guides if you want to change it you can also delete it that way so if you have a guide that's on the screen and you don't want it anymore you don't like it you can just right click on the guide and click um unlock and then delete press delete on the keyboard so that works okay so how does a wine glass look like this is Let's just okay. Let's just do something. Okay, let's just create one more guide. You know what? Hmm. Awesome. So we have the pen tool over here. Press shift on the keyboard. 
zoom in a little more now that we want things to be precise um okay i'm i'm still i'm still using shift on the keyboard so i have like perfect lines and again increase the stroke to 1 i'll that's how i like it and um yeah okay that's like my wine glass where the real stuff goes <laughs> I really don't, I don't know. I I prefer like wine glasses with stems. They're like amazing. Okay, this le- this looks like it could be a rectangle. So I think I find um pressing M on the keyboard gives you a rectangular shape. So I'm not holding shift right now. I'm just making like a really rough um rectangular shape over here. It's obviously going to be a little I think this looks good. Um just using up arrow key on the keyboard. Okay, and over here should be like um circular shape. So press L on the keyboard. If you see when I press L, it becomes like a circle. It becomes an ellipse tool. Press M, it becomes a rectangular tool. And obviously you can go and right click and see all other tools right here. That's why I love I love Illustrator for this reason. I cannot I don't think I can be like so handy with Photoshop. Obviously you can do all these sketches in Photoshop, but I'm just more comfortable with Illustrator. Okay, press thing over here, press L on the keyboard again in case I missed it and not pressing shift and seeing what I did. Okay, too big. This is too big. Press V to see the positioning. Okay. This feel still feels too big. Hmm. Wait, I almost forgot about my T. Hmm. Okay, awesome. Um yeah, I feel like this looks good. Okay, let us use the direct tool again to make beautiful, beautiful shape. You see how it's taking shape now? It is. This is like the best thing ever, to be honest. Again, um, I'm reiterating over here, I think. But this is like a sketch. I, I am not trying to copy all of this, so this is not exactly how it's gonna look. But when once you add like the glass texture in Adobe Dimension, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, so I just shape everything up again. One second, let me just do this. Go to quick actions, go to group, or you go to, I think you go to, I don't know, press command G. That also groups things. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions for me, until now, I'm happy to. What do you think goes on a wine or a cheese board, guys? What do you have you ever, Brandon? What are the elements of a wine? That's what I'm trying to create today. So I'm gonna. be making some wine and some cheese i think i'm going to make some olives as well so you know what let's make olives also let's group everything up let's group i have a really bad habit of not naming things so i'm going to be like a good person today and i'm going to name everything um wine bottle okay awesome so we have the wine bottle I'm going to log that. We have the wine glass. I'm going to log that as well. I'm going to have Okay, I'm not I don't need that right now. So I'll just delete those. I think I'll do that later. Hey Kuala, thank you for joining. What time is it there? What time is it everywhere? I just know Brandon's time zone. It's like 7:30 a.m. for him and I really did not think he would join. And when he replied, I was like, "Whoa, we have Brandon in the house. What is happening over here?" By the way, I forgot to thank the Behance live streaming community for giving me access to be able to live stream on Behance. This is my day one guys for everyone who's just joining. I see there are some people over here. That is awesome. Thank you for joining. I could not be I I was elated for like a month guys. I did not even know there was a Behance live streaming Discord and I'm like what there is a Discord until someone in the game changers mentioned there was a Discord. And then I'm like wow, life is something else now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um so sudden i just saw ig hey kuala we are making let me just go ahead and show you my mood board i will hide the guides i forgot the shortcut again but i will i'm going to hide the guides okay command minus on the keyboard i'm sorry i'm giving you all the mac shortcuts i'm sure a lot of people over here don't use a mac for obvious reasons i'm not going to mention them but yeah this is how it looks like this is my mood board and we're going to be creating something like still life in 3d so yeah i'm excited for that okay let's go let's see what we have here okay we have a wine bottle and a wine glass we also need 
this this is like a slice of cheese i think i don't know what it's called but um yeah some cheese and obviously i can't draw strawberries i tried making strawberries and that was like a terrible idea a terrible terrible idea i mean if you can't model and sculpt things it it sometimes is a bad idea okay i was trying to create um an olive next because i think that's what is like the most amount of times in um i think this is how an olive looks simple this is this is simple guys this is just like an ellipse and like let's do this okay so we have an olive what else do you see on a cheese board guys grapes i think i'm just going to grab like a sphere um in a dobi dimension that could help me with the grapes and i also have this thing so let's just make like a grape top is what i like to call it a grape top let's make a grape top i think it's going to be like something simple and we obviously can resize strawberries are hard i tried making some today in c4e for strawberry day oh yeah when you said it was strawberry day i was like wait i should probably include since i had a rough idea what i was doing i was like i should probably include strawberries in my thing and then i'm like <laughs> it did not go well i know what you mean excellence yep i was trying oh you know what i was trying the other day right the flour i was trying this flour crustidia they call billy buttons for a reason because the flour is like a huge sphere with like small buttons it looks beautiful it's a yellow colored beautiful flour look it up crustidia i'm going to like leave the name name in the chat crustidia and it's like a beautiful yellow colored um flour i was trying to make that in dimension and then i had made like 500 spheres 500 little spheres to get that perfect texture and yeah it did not go well my laptop almost cried and i was like okay i just need to not do this anymore i should probably like have more c on my laptop anyway okay what is happening this weekend guys though what are your plans i'm sure i asked that before did i i'm not really sure i'm concentrating like you know okay i think this is all right for like um command minus 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 and um huh. what else give me suggestions guys what else do you think is on a wine i don't know platter let's make this do you want to make this thing this thing looks looks challenging a bit but i like challenges let's so i actually grabbed a bunch of adobe stock assets like i found a really nice knife a butter knife hey henry how are you doing i saw like a really nice butter knife on adobe stock and that was also pretty cool so we can use that maybe we can also make butter you know what we can make butter why isn't there butter with wine right okay let me just grab this real quick let me let me see where it went i really can't see it but command minus minus and scroll over here i think i'm going to use another artboard this feels a little too populated and with artboards you can just drag and drop awesome command v we, we have this over here this looks like a little bit taller i'm going to decrease the size a little hey jarna thank you for joining i'm so glad you guys are all here i mean this is awesome i feel great um we will make like this glass I don't know. I have this huge jug. I showed it to Brandon the other day and he was like terrified. So I have this huge water thing that I drink water from every single day. I refill it like twice. It's like almost 2 liters. I don't know how how that is on um with other measurements, but yeah. And this is something else. Mine was fairly simple, but this is definitely something else. Okay, I'm um I'm actually going to just recreate this by eye. I'm not going to be using guides over here because yeah, I guess this is going to be like a tough one, guys. I'm sure I'll mess it up. But okay, so when I'm using Photoshop, I want to create these as like um different elements and I'll stack them up 
and you might be wondering how you're going to stack that up which is again something we're going to see in some time by popular vote i can't show you that right now you have gonzalo and brandon and excellence to blame but no i love it okay this looks terrible yeah i'm just going to use the l i'm going to make a nice little ellipse we're obviously going to manipulate these shapes later on press m on the keyboard what did i do press m on the keyboard i don't want to fill right now so you don't use that press v again this does not look good does it <laughs> okay anyway it does not look good right now but it might okay let's just use the selection tool and wait i heard i did something yeah you you got the popular vote of just making sketches first so i can't i can't um showcase how uh, i'm actually going to stack these objects but yeah that's cool i like sketches i deleted the whole object because i did not need it okay i'll just get the pen tool again get this over here get this over here and again remember guys this is just a rough sketch so don't worry if not everything is perfect i would have idly done this um before but i actually wanted to show you from 0 to 100 in like 1 hour <laughs> i don't think with the speed that i'm going and i'm talking too much i will be able to complete it but yeah let's hope so i am going to copy paste select command c come on okay i did not copy paste that command v and it's so beautiful like you get all these notifications like for here instant for for instance over here you can see how beautiful beautifully it aligns auto align and it's it's i mean it's okay to not be exact it is like i said it is abstract it is also what you are doing so yeah i'm sorry i got lost there a little bit i really got lost i got lost in these colors although it's just black and white but i love black so let's be honest i mean who doesn't love black right what is your favorite color guys let's hear it from everyone until i fix this we have also at any point if you find that the music is too high too low just let me know i will fix that cool and we have like a um, press v on the keyboard to select and yeah i think this is the beauty of it command plus plus this is my favorite color what's that color i don't know hex codes anyway let's see what that color is let us see now that you have mentioned it i want to see what it is hold on wait up i forgot how to do this let's just fill this okay mm mm mm, -mm. 282828 Oh I get the joke now all right oops my bad but yeah okay <laughs> awesome um we have okay almost there but we press a we delete this guy we press v move it up a little i think this is cool we press the shape we select the shape we go to edit um we go to object we go to path we go to join we select the shape we select the shape we go to object we go to path we go to join wait what just join okay all right is this already join that is weird 
Okay, yeah, there you go. The lovers already knew what that color was. Or it, yeah, it is just you, Gonzalo. It is probably just you. I have never learned hex code. Clearly, you you know that now. <laughs> okay, this looks like a terrible bottle, guys. Like this looks so wonky. Let me just fix that. I just change the anchor tool a little bit, and um, yeah. Let me let me just delete this. Okay, there's a stop that I forgot. I forgot about the top. Again, I'm gonna take the L. I'm gonna make an ellipse. I'm gonna manipulate it. It's all about manipulation, guys. I mean, all these basic shapes are so brilliant. Like you can manipulate them to, um, yeah. One second. And again, I'm the creator of this. Water pourer thing, this water jug. <laughs> but um, so yeah, this is looking so weird. But it's okay. I'm just gonna click on Pathfinder and see what it makes. That that is not what I want. This is because the shapes aren't right. So I'm just gonna group it for a while. Okay, we have we're gonna do grapes in dimension. We have the olive over here. We have the grape stop over here. Grape stop. We have a wine glass and this weird little thing which I did not know what it was. We have a wine bottle and some wine inside. And um, I already saw like a dish on Adobe Stock, so that is there. We have the dish sorted. We don't need that. And um, yeah, let's just start with these elements and see where it takes us. So I'm quickly gonna open Photoshop as well and see what we have okay hold on wait i forgot to actually make the real shapes i spoke too soon okay let's just lock everything on the sketch here not open photoshop because i can hear all these fans one sec let me just close photoshop hold on and also save your work guys i just always forget I prefer 0303. I am not gonna check what that is. Excellent. Definitely not gonna check. Okay, you just take the pen tool, and now this is when the real thing comes in. So I wanna make this line across the center. I think this is a good good uh, demarcation of where the line is. I click on stroke, and I click like a dash line over here, so that I know that it's not actually part of the thing. Uh, is this on the extrusion layer? Yeah, I'm gonna move it down a little bit and just like check it. Okay, awesome. So I'm now gonna take a pen, take the pen tool, and um, I'm gonna be making these objects um, because I want them to have like a difference when I put in the texture. So I'm gonna be making this separately. So first, I'm gonna make the wine bottle over here again. It's the same process, but now we have perfect guides out here. And zoom in a little, command plus plus. We go in like this because you know that glass has. Okay, this is too big. Um, it's a glass bottle, right? So it's hollow from the inside. That's what we're looking for when you make the 3D object. So we make this. We go up again, just by eye because it's all right. Not everything's supposed to be perfect. Um, again, the stroke was so. Once you select the stroke and you change that to a dash line, the application takes it by default. So yeah, that is why I got like a dash line. And yes, excellence. You should definitely save your work. We know what happened the last time. Um, okay, press V on the keyboard. Press A on the keyboard. I'm quickly gonna do this. Not waste any time now. Hold on. Okay, we don't even need to change that. What is up with me? Meanwhile, if you guys have any questions about what I'm doing over here, let me know. I will answer. I will also make this little guy. I will change the color of the stroke to be red. So that I can like make a difference, demarcate what's going on. 
um actually made that on a new layer but that's fine we'll change that later on press shift for a perfect line hmm interesting that is so interesting okay cool let's just leave it like this and we go to our wine glass we continue the same process over here so what we're actually doing is making these sketches again and um we have photoshop and with photoshop if you've ever worked with photoshop and like typography ever before you know that you can make like extrusions and bevels in photoshop and that is exactly what i'm going to be using today so there are a lot of presets in photoshop and they come in very handy when you're making 3d objects and um yeah i found this video online on youtube i don't remember the name of this person but uh, um if i find it i will share it in the chat later on and you can like uh, go into the replay and see like the info button and you can check it out later on but um i was watching this woman and she did like some amazingly brilliant stuff and i'm like okay i really need to understand how it works so i went on to see in photoshop what are these presets and it is mind blowing guys again this was our base but it's not necessary to actually use it but you know what i am let's just move this a little i'm just using anchor points to change these a little and remember if there are like wait i forgot what's the best i forgot i don't know what you're talking about this is so weird you lose track of everything oh i forgot to yeah Hmm. No worries. Zoom in a little. I'm gonna delete this one. I have my concentration phase, guys, so don't judge me. I'm not smiling for like a second. Okay, this is cool. Oh, hold on. Did I make the wine? Oh, I I forgot to make the wine, guys. I forgot to make the wine. How is that even possible? Hey, Derek, how are you doing? So happy you're here. Thank you for joining. How is your day coming along? Let me know what you're up to. I am making a 3D still life. I am here surrounded with experts. We have excellence who is amazing in 3D. I have Derek who's also amazing in 3D. I don't know what I'm doing here guys. <laughs> Teach me something. We have the wine now. Press A on the keyboard. We click this, we click this. Shift and select and then you perfectly or at least slightly try to match it. Command plus 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 to see if it did and it didn't. So I'm going to get that back in. Check to see if everything's fine. Press V on the keyboard. Zoom out. Command minus 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 and Hey Golden, how are you? Thanks for joining. I'm so glad all you guys are here. This is so amazing. Okay, this is so amazing. I am for Derek and Golden and any of you who joined in after I started my process. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So we're doing see um the live in 3D. We have all this inspiration again in Illustrator, of course, not in Pinterest. We can also do animation in DR. Um can we? I'm not sure if we can. I don't think we can. We need like an external I've tried Adobe Aero, you can do augmented reality and there are some presets you can use. No, we cannot do animation in dimension with Kid R, but we can um take that 3D object and the materials into another 3D software, maybe like an AR software. I think you can also use character animate. Um but I haven't used that yet, but I'm sure you can use animate by Adobe as well. Thanks Henry thank you for inspiring me to be this person Okay so this is a 3D still life this was my inspiration this is my rough sketch in procreate and this is my technical sketch and now we're just almost finishing up with our basic sketches I made um I'm making like a wine um cheese board so this is the wine Wow it feels like forever it's not been that long right <laughs> It has. Okay, I'm talking too much. Okay. Yeah, getting to work now. Sorry guys. Quickly, we're going to make this wine. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just going to check this color of this robe so that I can identify what what Okay, this is too bad. Blue is good. Soothing. Okay, we have wine. We have wine bottle. We have olive. To let us make the olive, we will be using the same principle over here. Make like a um I'm sorry, what am I doing? make a dash line for reference to find where the center is i'm sorry guys if this doesn't make sense right now but it will soon make sense it just give me a minute i will fix this up i will get the l again change the stroke back to not a dash line press v again and meanwhile if you have any questions for me let me know say hello to me in the chat all of you lurkers as well press a again on the keyboard if there are any and um yeah i guess i'm just going to join this wait i'll just drag this out i will use this i will use the pen tool i use a pen tool that's like the only tool i use you were not meant to see that no worries wine and cheese my favorite i know right derek <laughs> it is my favorite what wine do you like what's your favorite wine do you like red or white i'm sorry i know there's a better way to do this but i just <laughs> really you calling my bot agarwal bot that is no that is just not the right name i don't think so henry well she is doing fine my gal pal gal pal bot i haven't named her yet but my gal pal bot is doing fine um okay i'm just going to leave this here it it's queued a little bit on top but that's fine um also just going to leave this here i think i'm just going to make like a flat extrusion so yeah we have this and now we have the most difficult part but we're going to get back to this i'm not so sure i want to do something like this yet so we're going to get back to this and we're going to save our work remember to save your work we go to photoshop photoshop and that was command plus space um i really like using it it's very handy and as you can see everything is loading let me go in the chat to see if i miss something golden can we really do animation in um no wait gonzalo that was gonzalo no i don't think there are keyframes gonzalo so let me i usually select like a 1200 1200 when i'm not doing um like i'm not exporting from it now it being uh, like a 3d object is all i'm exporting so yeah we have an artboard we don't really need an artboard so we're going to delete that um actually just my photoshop uh my photoshop shortcuts are terrible guys i don't know anything about photoshop So let's make the wine bottle. We command C it, we command V it, and we have this little guy over here. So it asks you whether you want to like um, paste it as a smart object, as a pix, as pixels, as path, or a shape layer. Since we are creating a 3D shape over here, we use a shape layer. So we get. Oh my God, this guy is big. Command T. Um, transform. that is transform tool you don't need to press shift because it's already like a shape layer so it will be automatically scaled down uniformly we have this we have the layer selected you go to 3d over here if it's not activated you go on top there's a 3d tab and you just select um one sec um yeah you can just like manipulate the options from on here anyway so we have the layer selected we have the shape selected you go to 3d we go to 3d extrusion because we have the inbuilt presets that we're using so we use the 3d extrusion we click on create um now um this is the orbiting tool this is the pan and this is dolly so i'm going to orbit it a little to see how it looks like this is how it looks like right now so over here is like a secondary camera and you can view all the different um camera angles so there's left right this is how it looks from the left this is how it looks from the top 
now you may be wondering this doesn't look like a wine bottle anika what are you doing over here so if you see this little guy over here first of all um i'm going to delete the shadows and the um cast and cast cat shadows option over here because i do not want any of this so you know what it did it did not cast any shadows so when i export this scene as well it will not give you any external shadows other than the ones you actually make in the 3d software so we have that i'm also going to go to scene and remove any hidden back faces what that means essentially is that the sketch that you're doing will not come out in the final 3d object if i don't do that if we have time left if um if at all i don't think so but if at all we do we will also check that out wait what did i do i did something i pressed v on the keyboard what does v on this do i am not sure guys photoshop is not my thing okay um we uncheck it we also okay we select it again now we go to shape preset so we have all these things over here we have like this basic shape which is like a depth extrusion we have this what happens if we click this nothing happens what happens if we click this what happens if we click this oh this is like a huge um it, it's like a trapezium extrusion this one taper taper shrink it's called this is called deflate this is called the regular this is set by default and then we have this this is like a this is like amazing this i'm going to use this one sometime let's select the front angle and see how it looks actually let's orbit around what is this guy doing over here right Okay, I've totally messed up the angle now, but oh, 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 we are upside down. <laughs> so, any of you in the chat, if you use the three D softwares, do you ever get like struggle with the shapes? Okay, here comes the good part. We are using a cylindrical preset, and this is how the bottle looks like. Yeah, we have a wine bottle. Um. So can you see this? This is like the front view, and it looks so beautiful. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I don't know how many of you guys are still watching, but this was the moment. This was the highlight of the moment. Right after like 51 minutes of diving in, we are actually here. We are actually getting things done. So we have the top. Now you see there's a space in the bundle, and it's like a circular thing. And I'm just going to decrease the extrusion depth a little bit. You can also just enter zero over here. So I'm also going to do that. and you see there is no space anywhere right so you take the orbit tool you orbit around you see what there is actually we don't actually do not need the cork i'm going to undo this yeah that's that's the shape now i'm going to name this the wine water right i'm going to go back to my illustrator if you have any questions meanwhile let me know Let's answer those questions. Now we're going to make wine, the actual wine in the bottle, right? So again we do the same thing, command V and again paste it as a shape layer. Now it's a now it's a repetitive process. Now you know how to do it. Now since I um edited the size of this, command T or control T, I imagine if if it's going to be the same on a PC, but um yeah, you guys know my secret now. It's out there. <laughs> okay, do the same thing. go to 3d go to 3d extrusion go to create so if you see over here we have mesh from preset and mesh from depth map you can also select this but i try to go the manual way because it actually shows what i'm doing and if you do a um a uh, mesh from depth map you can actually sculpt and manipulate in uh, photoshop and then take that to dimension i haven't played around with that a lot but um i will okay i forgot to press enter So you have to press enter if you press the command uh, transform tool you can't really create a shape. Okay, we again by default this was the shape that was selected. I hope this is red wine. We make it red wine. And um we do this. Thank you Henry. I'm glad you like it. Um yeah, we're going to orbit this around. Oops, okay. I see that this is Okay, this is perfect actually. You know what? This is perfect. So if you see, I'm going to show you something. From the top it looks like this because the orbiting angle is different now. So if you see this is empty, right? We don't want this. This looks like a weird shape, weirdly shaped tumbler. And we don't want this. We actually want wine inside it. So if you want to make hollow shapes, that's when you use shapes without a fill. But if you want to use shapes that actually have like a cylindrical shape you actually have a fill inside it 
so you control save this you select it you go copy copy go to i'm gonna go to layers i'm gonna hide this for a bit i'm gonna paste again as a shape there click on okay i'm gonna put it down here i'm command p transform i am gonna put it here i am gonna go to 3d i'm gonna create a 3d extrusion okay i forgot to press enter again guys what the hell create and now we delete these shadows and we don't cast any shadows and we create a cylinder and if you go to top you see there's still like a, a some space over here but now you see that it's a cylinder so if you're making a cylinder i totally forgot about my t by the way so if you're making a cylinder it is supposed to be a completely filled shape and not just outlines but or strokes but if you want a hollow thing you have to make something like this like the one that we did earlier so now you may be wondering that over here anika you're just bluffing right so over here i'm sorry i did not mean to do that i really don't know how photoshop controls works with in terms of if you look at look look over here it doesn't seem hollow right but it is trust me i just made this extra little one sec let me show you in illustrator i made this extra little top and if i hadn't done that it would have been an empty bottle and um yeah all right that's the reason but it's anyway i think it's going to have a fork but if not we will change that later on okay all right let us go back if you have any questions shoot them in the chat i will answer them as much as i can we have this shape and did we did we do do this to zero i'm not really sure wait what's happening did my laptop just hang what no my lap no what just okay no awesome <laughs> all right i almost got a heart attack so yeah okay let's just okay i did not save this wine 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 board 27th feb i went to create a word thing to my english work i come back and this is a ready word i know right gonzalo awesome isn't it i am so i'm i don't like that you missed it we did a mistake like so okay wow what is happening yep all right wait did i mess it up again i did what is this hold on did i paste the same layer oh i know what i did i know what i did i did what i shouldn't have anyway it's all good we can just group these two and we group these where is the group so it's all about hidden trial guys i know this was a mistake but it's all good i'm going quickly going to delete this actually let us delete this yes i don't want to see you let us delete this i don't want to see you let us paste it as a shape layer again now when solo if you see i just paste it like an illustrator shape over here command t to manipulate it in photoshop and this is obviously not the same size i just rotated the wine bottle you click enter and there's a 3d layer tab over here press 3d extrusion you click create and you see like this weird looking extrusion over here which is just like type but you go to cylinder and there you have it you remember to like uncheck ca catch shadows and cast shadows and um yeah I, i think i forgot to do this but you should also remove like the texture because you're going to be applying your own texture so i go i'm i'm going to go to the wine bottle and do the same because i do not want any of these textures wait my laptop's really really lagging i mean i can see how much there is how much of a lag there is i'm going to slow things up a little so that it doesn't die on me and i can still stream wait what did i miss how is it about what we need a name for you bot anika agbot oh yeah maybe agbot agbot okay anybot oh maybe we can make it anybot and because it's animated a little so like anybot <laughs> and it's also my gal pal so any goes fine i did this you can use extension tool timeline 
I know I can risk it, but the tool timeline is disabled for me. I tried using that Anastasi extension for OBS. It did not work for me. So there have been some known issues. Now you see, it's a. There are some fragments, which I'm gonna quickly see what happened over there. Okay, let's remove the hidden back faces. We go to scene. We remove the back faces. Now you see what happened there. If I uncheck this, can, how how do I zoom in, guys? What's the okay? This is how you zoom in. So this is the object that I have, right? You can see the shape that I used to make it. And if I go to scene and click on hit, remove hidden back faces, it's going to remove the shape that was actually my outline. If you look closely, you can actually see that happening over here. So this is the shape that I used. And if I click on remove back faces and lines, it makes it beautiful all right i think i removed it extra yeah cool awesome i'm gonna save this go back to layers wait what happened okay yeah awesome new layer and we have not gonna make the cork we have to make a wine glass now so we command c we're gonna rename this. We're gonna rename this to wine. Wine. We're gonna go to layer two. We're gonna paste it as a shape layer. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye, Henry. Thanks for joining. Command T. We decrease the size. We don't have to press shift because obviously this is scaled uniformly. My tea is all bad. It's like so cold now. Yeah. Bad idea to keep it there. Um, okay, wait. I see something that's wrong with this. Hmm. Let us see what this does. So I've there's some like fragmentation happening. If you look at it closely. Okay, cool. This looks good. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah, I'm gonna hide these two because it's distracting me a little. So you just select this layer, you click on 3D, you click on 3D extrusion, you click on create, and you have this weird little thing. There are tons of presets over here. Hey Matia, thank you for joining. What's up? What is how's your weekend going on? What time is it over there? And we have a wine glass. We have a beautiful, perfect looking wine glass, and now I want to drink wine. This stem is looking too fat though. Let's just decrease it a little bit. Mm. How about now? It looks good. I'm so happy it turned out great. Okay, remove back faces. You remove the texture again. It's a repetitive process, guys. So, yeah, save. And let's see what we are, what else we have here. We have an olive. Let's quickly create an olive. Let's rename this wine. I actually just want to do this quickly because I want to show you how it looks in dimension as well. So you remove this, you paste this shape layer. What's up guys? What are you doing in the chat? Chilling, not lurking. Wait, what's my announcement? Happy Sunday. How's your weekend going? Yeah, awesome. I am just talking too much. It's a good thing. I like to think so. Okay, 3D extrusion. Um, enter again. I forgot to do that. You click on 3D Extrusion, you click on Create, you have this weird little thing, you uncheck the cast, cast and cat shadows. There are multiple presets available over here as well. You can use um, the cylindrical shape. So you do that. And this is a weird looking olive, but yeah, this is a very... <laughs> oh, so if you go to negative, this is what like like very funky shapes. I was thinking I could use something like this, like a tabletop and put like a cylinder on top to make it like a very nice abstract table. I might do that. Hmm. It's a good idea, guys. Anyway, so you do this. And yeah, I think this looks good for an olive. It looks all right. What do you think, guys? Does this look like an olive to you? Olive 3D. Um, It reminds me of olive oil from Popeye. If you've ever, if you've ever watched that. I still love that, love that show as a kid. Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> okay, cancel this. I do not want to replace it. I want to remove the texture. 
Okay, awesome. Um, we have a wine bottle, wine. We have some wine glasses. We have olives, and we're gonna make a grape stop next. We're also gonna make this shape, but we're gonna make this first. Wait, did I lock it? Yeah, I probably locked it. It's in sketch, right? Yeah. Here is fourteen thirty. Later, I have to go out. Where are you heading out? Where are you going? Tell us more. Have you guys been going out with COVID and everything? I feel like I'm this only person who's like been indoors all this while. I feel so weird when people go out without their masks on, and I'm like, okay, no, thank you. I don't need this. Um, yeah, magic has been done. We have some magic going on. Um, I might flip it because it looks like upside down right now. So I might flip it. Remove the hidden back faces. Again, it's the same process. Once you know it, you can just do it again and again. Super easy. And I'm gonna go to Illustrator again. Command minus 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 minus. I will attempt to make this now. I'll just go to Photoshop and save it. And meanwhile, I will also show you how to. So first, I will show you how to export all of these, right? So we have the wine bottle first. We will decrease the percentage we have the wine bottle we click on the layer of the 3d shape that we have we click on 3d on top and we click on export 3d layer so here's the fun part guys um matia i know you face this when you were doing this but um some people don't um it's like you it's easy to miss out so in the 3d file format you have to select the wave trend or obj so it exports it like an object that is um you know i like to call it edible by other applications so dimension can eat it up if you export it like an object i'm going to let it be like this because we can manipulate this in adobe dimension and we click on okay it asks you where you want to save it so i already have this folder made in where i want to save it and i want to save it as wine bottle dot obj and you click on save right now if i go to my finder or wherever you saved your things this is all the things that you will get you don't need a material file because it's almost empty right it's it's just going to have like a matter of default material so i'm going to go and delete everything because i already have everything else just to have like less clutter i like to do it and here we have our amazing amazing 3d model from scratch okay awesome i got too excited now there is wine wait is there no music playing i don't know let me check Did I finish the whole playlist? <laughs> What's up, Golden? You're inside mostly. You go out for groceries and such. Yeah, that is amazing. I order my groceries online. I don't even step out for groceries. I just go out for like walks when I don't have to interact with anybody. I just walk on the roads instead of parks and like a jogging track. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to talk to anyone because you might have COVID and give it to me. I'm like very, um, I don't know, paranoid about it. Okay, what was this? This is wine. This is wine. dot obj. I save it, and I go to my finder. I click everything else, delete it. I click on wine. dot obj. See how it looks like. This is gonna go inside the bottle. It's gonna be red wine, like Derek said. So yeah, we'll do that later. Now we have the wine glass. Click on the layer. Don't don't forget to click on the layer because it doesn't know. You have to tell them. You have to feed the machine the information, right? You know what design says. Make it human centric, but it's never human centric. Um, almost never. We're trying. We are trying. Okay, wine glass, and we click on save. Beautifully, just like that. Where is my finder window? I lost it. Here it is. We have. Oh, this is not it. Um. Yeah, I was looking for this. We have a wine glass. We have a wine glass, guys. What do you think? This looks more like a champagne glass, to be honest, right? Do you think it looks like a wine glass? Maybe like a white wine glass, but we are making red wine, so I'm not really sure. Anyway, delete this. Move to bin. You delete this. Move to bin. You uncheck this. What is this? Oh, this is olives. We have shape one. We have three D. We have export three D layer. We have again OBJ. We click OK. We click make it olives, and we save. 
we get everything else i like to do this on the go because it just makes my life easy when like i said um i like making my life easy and wait what is this oh this is a wine i almost couldn't recognize it yeah this is how the olive looks like and um i like my olives pitted and um yeah i like to i i actually wanted to make like a thing that you insert the olives in and put it in your drink and um yeah that's how i made this anyway and then this is what was this again oh this is a grapes i think i should really name these layers as well i have this really bad habit of not naming my layers but today i'm doing all the good things by the book i hope i am you want an easy tutorial in this you won't find anika skilling it thank you gonzalo i love it she is thank you golden i really appreciate it i like that you guys are like watching and like paying attention to every every single thing okay um i actually like i actually want to make it easy because i have literally saw like i've literally seen so many videos and now i know how to do this but it is terrible for me and i don't want it to be for anyone else so um yeah that's why we go to find it again we give a grape stop we delete all this and you have your top of the grapes all right i'm going to quickly go to dimension really quick because i want to make the glass tutorial but it's been a while now so i will save this and quit photoshop i will go to illustrator i am going to make this hold on i'm going to make this but maybe if we if you don't have time i'll make it like at home so we command save and <laughs> we quit this right and now we go to what is this oh yeah everything's good okay we go to dimension how are you guys liking it so far what do you guys think should i do this more often um i'm so today i think i'm actually going to be making like leaving it without um any materials i'm just going to be making like something with just like a scene and then i'm going to come back with another stream and put everything in like all the textures because it'll be a little too much and like you know my tea is already cold and i don't like my tea cold Okay so anyway I just increase the canvas size to 1400 pixels if you've never used adobe dimension it is a fairly easy 3d software it is like the easiest software i used i used blender for the first time like 3 days ago and i was in a different world altogether excellent knows and maybe anybody who is in the chill and chat on the game changers i was like what's happening like what is this ui i don't get this anyway so back to adobe dimension it's made my life easy We have the canvas size over here. It is default one zero two four by seven six eight, but I just created it fourteen hundred again because I want it to be Behance friendly, and also bigger sizes can be reduced down and not pixelate. So that's there. I also changed the resolution to three hundred. These are some basic basic checks that you would want to do, and um, yeah, this is where you can move the basic tools over here. Um, the select tool, the magic wand, the color picker, sampler tool, the orbit blender is a very different role. and i feel you gold and i know what you mean and then this is a zoom this is the hand tool and this is the camera and this is like going back to the previous frame that you were in and this is making bookmarks so once we dive in you will see what i mean um right now and these are like all the things that are downloaded from adobe stock can you imagine all of these um is like this is free i mean i can put in a spoon as well and there's a lemon as well i mean right i know right this has made my life so easy okay awesome like i said it's all about making your life easy so you go to finder you go to wine bottle you drag and drop it you don't even have to import it or anything now you know it's there but you don't know where it is so you press f on the keyboard and it drag gets you right there the wine bottle is not lost guys you are Okay, you just rotate it a little. I'm gonna zoom out a little over here because I really don't like don't. You found the material on the internet, or you do for yourself? Um, it's a mix of both actually, Matia. I like using some textures. Like if I can't make it, make it myself. I go to the internet, of course. I found this amazing website called Textures. dot com the other day, and you can find all different kinds of textures. So, I was trying to, like I said earlier, I I was trying to make Traspedia, and I couldn't. I tried to find like um a texture for it I still couldn't I still haven't figured that out but yeah the material yeah I basically use like the starter assets so we have let's say we have this wine bottle I'll just go to material one sec let me just um get everything in we get wine object as well 
so you know it all is going to make sense right about now so we have the wine bottle i'm going to give it a glass and we have the wine inside i'm going to lock this wine bottle so that i only select the wait <laughs> okay i'm going to rotate this it doesn't look like it's centered so i'm going to click this press v on the keyboard okay awesome we will hide the wine we will select this what should i this should be a liquid right so there is like a liquid um material somewhere here i know it is so you can just search it as a well. liquid what <laughs> that is not good <laughs> okay all right one sec there is liquid there is water why is there no liquid why don't why is there no wine in here i need wine okay let's let's change the color of this just because you know i don't know let's make it a darker color i know it's not perfect right now but we will align these so these two are logged you drag in and this is the align tool over here in the navigation action span pain and um no that is not what i wanted um maybe it needs like a rotate tool first yeah i think this looks good let me just orbit around it and see how it looks what's up guys what do you think of my wine i'm going to change the color of the glass as well so let us do that let's just do like a nice little um I'm going to save this. I did not save it. Um Awesome. Let's just render it out. Actually make a camera bookmark as well because we need that over here. And this is how our wine bottle looks like. My laptop compressor is dying. but yeah what do you guys think do you like the wine what do you think let me know awesome i forgot that there's like a lag so i was waiting for responses but then i realized that hey there's a lag so i'm going to continue and wait for your responses and you guys come in with your responses i'm going to drag in the wine glass as well press b on the keyboard and rotate it a little Yeah, you should golden. It's like so beautiful. You definitely should. Um, and if you run into anything, just like shoot me a message. I'll be happy to answer. And there's a glass. Can you imagine? Like this is like this is something that I made. What the hell, right? <laughs> okay, wine glass, wine bottle, wine, wine. Did we not make the wine in like the wine glass? Wait. Yeah, we probably didn't make the wine in the wine glass. Okay, we'll rectify that. We command C, command V. We make two glasses because obviously, who drinks wine by themselves? Maybe they do. I mean, yeah, it's okay to drink wine by yourself. I will also, um, I guess, yeah, make it to ninety degrees. Ninety. Rotate it again a little. and oh wow it's inside <laughs> it's inside my layer okay awesome i think i want the bottle to be over here and like somewhere here i don't think you did make it what i don't know what <laughs> i made this <laughs> what is up what <laughs> Okay. Anyway, um, let's see how this looks like rendered out. Well, this looks amazing. You know what I'm gonna do? Hey, Jasmine, how are you doing? Good morning. I'm glad you made it. I made this all from scratch, and um, it's been beautiful. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm tooting my own horn, but I am so excited that I made this. Anyway, so we have this, and now we have to put in an olive. We're gonna put in olive, guys. So wow, this is big. Okay, let's just zoom out. Press T 
three on the keyboard and that will zoom out and now i've lost where my camera was right so i go to my camera bookmark and here i am this looks like a little too small now okay awesome i don't think you made the wine to go on the glass yeah i don't think so either i actually forgot about it and i'm going to make it later on but that's okay because we have another life something to look forward to so i found this really nice bye matia thank you for joining it was great having you um we have i found these amazing adobe stock assets so there's this lace doily that i found i wanted to put this because it gives that like amazing contemporary look that i'm going for also not because press f on the keyboard you have this it basically zooms into the object that you just created and you zoom out you scroll i'm just scrolling on my mouse so that's good oh wow that is small so you scale it up you bring this in i'm not sure if i want this here or under like a dish i'm just going to scale it up a little more one sec command z again i want a mac i'm sorry but i believe it's control z so we're good and let's also i think this is no i i, I look for a dish as well i don't know where it is i'm going to have to find it because i don't want the olives to like go everywhere which we can by the way but i am going to do that i actually wanted it to be a little bit more flowy so you know what we're going to do we're going to press one on the keyboard ooh this is a nice angle hmm let's bookmark it okay press one on the keyboard zoom out again okay let's just leave it at this this is also a good angle i'm sorry i'm just finding too many angles that are good it's not like when you take photographs guys like you always have to find like a good oh here's the dish i found the dish oh i also found candles this is good um okay let's see what this is um yeah So if you're wondering, I did not create the lace doily and the lace. Like I'm cheating here a little bit, but that's okay because it's impossible for me to create these textures in Adobe Dimension right now. So yeah, I'm cheating a little bit, guys. I guess it's alright as long as you're doing everything over here. It's fine. I'm using Adobe Stock. It's fine. So yeah, that cheese slice. I did the same thing, and I think I have it somewhere, somewhere, somewhere here. Um. half cantaloupe no slice cantaloupe slice cantaloupe so the thing about dimension is that you can't slice anything and this is just like i made this shape in illustrator and i just extruded it in um photoshop it was that easy so i'm just going to get it here i have some more some more things over here like a deck panel a final waste thingy oh i could use this as well i i've used this in my earlier project i can reuse why not reuse resources and this is like a glass top that you can use you can put this like on a grapes or something okay go back here f i got i got distracted okay got here zoom in and this is so weird like i know jasmine you work with 3d does this ever happen to you like you lose when you're orbiting around an object does this like do you lose track of where you are <laughs> i lost track where i was when i was working in photoshop and i'm like what what is this i don't know how to use this because i use like um illustrator a lot and photoshop is like another world to me okay we press s on the keyboard this is definitely not looking like a cheese guys okay wow that really messed it up hmm press s on the keyboard that is not helping we press s on the keyboard now it is helping awesome this looks like a cheese i'm going to put in textures to make it more realistic but let us see what we have here um i think this is the issue wait what happened what is this <laughs> what is this <laughs> i just converted it into a flat layer what is this um command z oh okay yeah that's better i'll just scale it in a formally because it's really not working out yeah okay cool all the time i know right all the time i'm going to put these little olive here these really nice olives i'm going to copy paste okay wait did i name anything i did not name anything i have this weird problem about not naming stuff and i'm going to just 
cheese i might actually make like there's a what is this shape okay glass one because it's in the front i will log this what is this this is glass two what is this this is glass lying a lying glass a lying glass let's have fun with it little matlab i mean glass one glass two is like really boring so like a lying glass wine inside is definitely cool wine bottle is cool all is good we have all is let's make more all is command c command v control c control v you know the works you know how it works we have two all is guys <laughs> Okay, we can replicate these later. I just want to show you how to make um grapes. It's super easy. Grapes are like the easiest bit. I was saving it for the last because I want it to be like um the thing to like bring it all together. Let us Wait, this is not centered. It doesn't look like it's centered. Let's unlock the laced oily, the serving plate, the cheese. Let's click all this. Let's click on the line. Okay, no, I do not want to select the olives. I'm sorry, my bad. And the cheese. I just want to select these two. Click on the line, and you go here. I mean, this I think is wrong. Yeah, awesome. I think it looks nice now. It looks nice and centered. If I'm moving around, it's like it's like when you're playing like um, a racing game on the video game. If you guys ever, oh, I see what the problem is. Um, so back back when I was a kid, I used to play the console all the time on the PS. And then if you're make, like playing a racing game, you just like go along with the controller like this, and <laughs> that's what's happening here. Like right here, I'm just trying to manipulate and see what's wrong with this. Okay, I'm just going to render it out and see. Has that ever happened with you guys like when you're playing or anything for that matter? I'm sure you guys play. Still play. Hmm. I think I messed it up. It's a little wonky. But oh, I like this angle as well. You can see my computer is lagging now. But I am going to save it. Excellence popped in the chat and I realized that's like my time to save save your work i'm i think i'm going to make like this motion graphic where like excellence is like popping up inside from the window and you like it says oh hey i got a new follower it is aditya and i have been waiting for this moment i have been waiting to put this up thank you for the follow aditya and i think there were some more people following in so thank you for following along i appreciate it and um you can find all my social information down below on the screen i think it is right there yeah it is right there <laughs> so there's twitter there is youtube i am not active much on youtube but i'm planning to be now that i can save this video and put it up there so it's beautiful and there's behance of course there is instagram and there is my website so if you want to talk to me just send me an email and i will be happy to answer i'm going to un un i this the most important tool yeah i know right so next time you did did you see the follow bot the any bot coming in and saying Thanks for the follow. I'm going to make a speech bubble and like photoshop your face on top. <laughs> Save your work. <laughs> okay, yeah. I think I'm going to unrender this and now I'm going to move quickly to my last um grapes over here. I think I'm going to put like zoom out a little. Go to my starter assets, go to a sphere. Oh you do love that. Thank you, Jasmin. Yeah, it took me a while to make that. I also made that in dimension by the way. Um I made like 3D renders in dimension and then made like an image sequence in Premiere Pro and then I made like a gif out of it. You guys know I love gifs, right? I put gifs everywhere. Like gifs are my thing. Animated gifs are everything. Okay so I'm I'm manipulating I could have actually made olive right here like you can see I manipulated a sphere to be like this overly I don't know what this shape is called but um you don't get the hole on top which is what you do over here if you look carefully I will show you like this thing 
and you can insert that thing in where in the olive goes i don't know what it's called what is it called so yeah okay let's create grapes copy paste we need tutorial for what the animation yeah i could do that but i'm definitely i'm going to be stepping on someone else's toes because i'm really bad at premiere pro i mean i got to fix about like i i got to fix how, everything i know about it because it's terrible like i'm terrible at premiere pro okay these look like they could make and don't worry about the size over here right like um this is like we can totally scale it down uniformly so don't worry about the size and now that we have three we can multiply it by two and get six rotate it a little move it up top move it over here move it again and you see what happened here this is so beautiful i'm going to try <laughs> okay anyway um yeah we got this yeah the little skewer or toothpick that goes on the olive yes that's what i'm talking about i think i might make that skewer or toothpick or i might like just search adobe stock how to make the robot on future stream oh yes that's a good idea i was actually thinking of doing that today but then i thought like since i've already posted the robot let's do something new but i can do that that will be like a good tutorial i did not even realize this much time has passed it's been like one and a half hours i've been here and i've been talking constantly all this while i hope i'm not boring you guys tell me something new tell me a fun fact about you guys what's what's i don't know just something funny hey rutuja thank you for joining what's up how are you doing how's your weekend coming along how are you guys awake at this time i mean what is the time over there you guys wake up early guys like that is super early okay i'm going to make some more and see how this looks okay i feel like there needs to be something on top as well so command c command v i'm just making grapes over here ruja i really like gla grapes grapes grape grapes <laughs> do you i know i'm not looking in the camera guys too much but it's like i don't have a virtual webcam set up right now but i hope it will be soon um i'm still in the bed Hey Rutuja, how's the day going? Long time, girl. <laughs> it's nine a.m. here. Oh, it's nine a.m. already. Wow, I've been talking a lot. I wish I could be in bed. You know, I, guys, I like get only like five hours of sleep. And today, Excellence asked me how I cope up with it, and I was like, Hey, I have coffee. And then today, I have not had even a single cup of coffee, but I napped for an hour. So. Yeah, maybe Gonzalo was right. I'm trying to think if Gonzalo is right when he said like coffee reduces brain volume. Hmm, my brain volume has decreased, and that's why I'm not drinking coffee anymore and sleeping. <laughs> I mean, who does that, right? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. This looks like grape. Does this? Does this look? Does this look like a bunch of grapes? Do you think? What do you think, guys? Let's decrease it a little. Command C, Control V. Command C, Control V. Yeah, I'm. I need bad coffee. Okay. Yeah, we have grapes now. I'm gonna save my work, and we have Finder now. So we're gonna go to Behance Life, twenty seventh Feb. We're gonna go to Grape Stop, which is this weird name, and we're gonna grab it. Can you imagine? I just got like one, two, three, four, five, five things. and um yeah i am going to use this beautiful beautiful grape stop to make a grape stop the stem thingy the grape stop i'm going to call it the grape stop like the game stop if you guys are following along <laughs> oh by the way jasmine i saw your post about crypto art are you looking to do something um are you make looking to make your own nft is that what i'm hearing I'm excited to see what you create. We have Okay, awesome. This looks like a good good set of grapes. What do you think guys? These grapes look good to you? Let's finish this camera angle. Save my work. Press V. The grapes look juicy. 
Thanks, excellence. Oh, I feel like there's no lag anymore. Or is it like your internet? I don't know. Maybe it's no lag, and it's just lag for me because I'm also streaming. So upload and download at the same time is taking taking a toll on my internet. Okay, awesome. Let us press two on the keyboard, and these grades are like super big, right? So I select everything. I press shift. I scale them down. Beautiful. Do you go back and organize your? I was just gonna get on that. So right now everything selected, and I'm just gonna select, make a folder out of it, and make it grapes. I actually try to do it on the go go jasmine, but like over here we have a line glass, and we have all of these things. We have this beautiful grapes as well. So yeah, I do it. But when you do that, when you group um multiple shapes together, you have to you have to remember to unlink it. For instance, if I have this over here. and i want to put like a different texture to the top of this thing i have to find that um i don't know what is this called this little vector object which i am unable to find what where is it shape 2 shape 2 no shape 8 no that's sphere right well wherever it is yeah shape 2 stem right so i have the stem over here If I have to apply a different different texture to it, you just press this button. You can delete all of this because you obviously don't need it. You're gonna apply your own textures and layers. And um, uh, there usually is like so if you put this and you click on this stem, there's usually an unlink button over here. But since you haven't applied any material, there isn't. And you just click on this. And yeah, I think we're ready to go with our. We're gonna rotate it a little. We're gonna put this on. over here okay we're going to also do this i'm sorry guys i'm struggling a little bit with the camera angle orbiting around but okay and you know what we need to do what else is up guys and now i need to like just do these last two this and this okay not this and this so 16 and probably 15 where it is yeah and just going to like bump it down okay that is not not the same one 15 is not it okay maybe it's 17 but like let's do 16 first and if you just want to zoom in you just like press 3 and like what is this sphere again i'm going to check it So sometimes it does make my life difficult when I have this grouping already done. But since these all these are all spheres and grapes, then I have the same material. I'm not gonna go on individually and name them. Name them like grape one, grape two, grape three. <laughs> yeah, but you get the point. I'm sorry. That was a bad joke. Okay. Okay. Let's read the chat. I'm missing everything. I'm getting myself ready to go out and pick up an order. Oh, what are you getting, Golden? What is it that you're missing? I always miss those Henry's cookies. By the way, we always label our layers. Yes, we do. Yes, I'm exploring NFTs and really wanted to get in that space. Really excited about the future of NFTs. I am too. I've been doing some reading as well. But um, do send me that link of the clubhouse you were talking about. Also, guys, if you wanna have like you wanna get into clubhouse, let me know. I have a couple of invites that I can share with you. So you can just drop in uh, a message to me, and I'll be happy to share that. Provolone. Wait, what? I what? What? It's meat. Excellent. It's meat. What? Is, what? Hope it's something. Oh, excellent. Also asked something. Okay. It's meat. Oh, I want. Yes, I hear Ben in my head every time when working. <laughs> Provolone, golden rose. Also, that's something people have on cheese boards. Yeah, that is. How can I make this though? I don't know. Okay, this is like going inside everywhere. Let's just fix that, and we will. See how this goes. This doesn't look bad, right, guys? I mean, I wanted to create like a splash as well. Oh, I have this really nice idea. Okay, sorry about that, <laughs> but I had like a really nice idea. Just got like epiphany. Okay, where is this lying glass? Okay, let me just um lock everything up. Go to lying glass. Go to V on the keyboard. We go over here. We rotate this a little bit. We take it further back, 
and we have this little splash thingy i believe yep i'll dm it to you thanks jasmine i am looking for a this is going to be the last of it guys by the way i'm going to end the stream now because i'm like super tired and my tea is like um cold and i did not even have coffee right so yeah okay let's just manipulate this a little bit more see how we can fix it into this spilled lime glass that was my epiphany <laughs> genius genius epiphany but oh you know what hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on while we do this we can bring this up a little and make some flow let's see if i can do this what's your ad on clubhouse i think it's anika agg i'm not sure i'm going to have to check one sec let me check clubhouse where is clubhouse mm yeah it's the same as there you go i just watched a video all about setting up for nft awesome how was it where did you watch it go to neuron clubhouse too what is your um, handle why have we talked about this before clubhouse is like people are spending like 10 hours i was watching this talk about chris do and he like um watching this talk no i was hearing to this talk about chris do and he's like saying he's spending he also tweeted about it tweeted it about tweeted about it um yesterday i think that he's spending 10 plus hours on clubhouse and it's crazy guys like it's so difficult to keep track of everything it's like a boon or a bane by the way i forgot to i don't know if i did but special thanks to ryan selvi he has been kind and patient with all my questions on live streaming on behance and even on dms i've been bothering him so much about live streaming and i'm so glad i have been able to make it it's like um uh so cool and if you are like motion graphics and if you like i don't know if you like comics you should check his profile out it is behance.net ryan slash ryan selvi totally check it out amazing amazing work illustrations that i could never do like i could learn so much from him and of course jasmine we all know jasmine definitely know jasmine she recently got featured on the adobe photoshop page that's pretty cool and we have some flow over here in still life what do you guys think i'm going to insert the wine thingy on the bottom so it looks like one shape but for now and also ooh nice angle nice angle one sec let me just save this bookmark let's see what all we got we got this which is not really cool we can move stuff now that we have some space over here it feels like something's missing so let me just unlock all of these i think i might add a few more elements later on but for now i think this is good so we select all of this we move it a little bit over here this looks more cohesive now right and um what do you guys think of this composition do you like it what's going on in your heads can i add something else can i remove something else let's go to view one and now look since this is like a view i changed a bunch of things and the view got this was the first view that i had it only had the wine bottle in it and if i want to change it i just press 2 on the keyboard and like center it a little change the angle a little maybe like this and i don't want to create a new view i'm just going to click on this refresh thing over here and it's going to change the current view to the i mean superimpose the current view to the older view that i saved so i view 2 i'm pretty okay with this i view 3 i'm okay with this too i view 4 oh this looks nice i view 5 okay this is not what i need i view 6 all right awesome awesome what do you guys think tell me in the chat okay let's just do like actually you know what i'm going to do i'm going to remove the color from these um things so that i can just just get like a final render of this and like not put anything wine inside i don't want the color right now 
because I want like a before and after picture to make it look like more like a before or fantastic like what I, I got confused in the <laughs> um yeah I want to show the transition so let's see your render preview let's see how it looks okay let's quickly render it view one view two view three let's render view three I'm gonna render view three we're gonna render a PNG. Yeah, we're gonna render a PNG. We have slide, open, wine scene, view three, hi, render. Okay, awesome. Back to the chat. It's rendering now, guys. So yeah, let's see. I just watched the video. Yeah, I followed some folks on Clubhouse. Thanks, I'm on Clubhouse too. Same, I admire Puja. Oh wait, I'm missing all this. Wait, let me take a screenshot. Let's take a screenshot. Oh, thanks, Derek. How do you guys like my stream? I feel like it's been so long. <laughs> yeah, let's have some water, guys. Since the screen is like rendering, I'm gonna put some water from my dear old friend. And yeah, let us drink some water. It says seven minutes. I hope it does that quickly because I really wanna be able to show you. Meanwhile, if you have any questions for me, feel free to drop them in. I see an issue with the bottle right away. It's a giveaway. But we will fix that. I will find a fix for that. I think maybe I did not remove the back faces. But we'll fix that. Oh, I forgot to add the candles. I saw that Ruby stock acid I wanted to add. It looks great. Thanks. Thanks, excellent. Thank you. It means a lot. Coming from another CD artist. Okay, it says five minutes. It should look good in like five i haven't changed any um light settings right now because i just want to see how it looks in a default setting again this is like a 1400 pixel by 800 almost and um yeah 300 dpi um yeah what else i think this is all it's gonna be for today uh we should be continuing on this probably <laughs> yeah let us drink some water so um i think we should be continuing on this next week if not if not um a little i guess i'll put put in a schedule later on on my behance so watch out for that i will also post it to all my socials like i always do it is my marketing strategy and it never works guys <laughs> but i try my best i put it everywhere like i broadcast it to the network i'm going live be there so next time we're going to be working on textures on the scene. We're going to be working on the lighting. I may add a little bit of elements, but I will show you how it's all done. So wait for that. It's also saying like four minutes and I don't really like that. So yeah, let's, let's have a chat. What are you guys up to? Runs for coffee. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I'm going to have coffee after this because I haven't had my coffee. And I totally need a coffee now. I feel so exhausted. Like, I look like someone else right now. Who is this person? Oh, I do not know. You have like these amazing Twitter, Instagram. Um, not sorry, Instagram. In um, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Facebook share buttons over here. I had no idea. Wow, I missed that altogether. I was manually doing it. But yeah, it says still says three minutes and fifty seven seconds, guys. So I don't know. Yeah, I actually started. Let me let me tell you something about my still life experience. Still life experience. <laughs> so I actually started doing still life inspired by this Instagram page called Still Hair Still Life. They run there's the it's by two artists and they run this amazing page where you send in photo prompts and maybe Derek did something. No, you wait wait you make portraits. Okay, so photographers basically send in or even like anybody send in their prompts, which are then used as photos, as reference for you to make the still life in your own style. So it's like a good community out there and they started it during COVID. And I even did some illustrations. I used the Procreate app and also the Fresco later on. And now I was like, I just wanted to do something in 3D and I was like, okay, why not make a contemporary still life scene? And I love Vine guys. I mean, I love Vine. So this is like the perfect idea 
and obviously this looks like water but again i wanted it to look like water it still says three minutes guys so i'm gonna leave it at this and um i will probably be here at the same time if not or on friday i think i'm gonna change it a little bit and mix it up and be here on friday instead next week same time friday instead of saturday and we will work on textures we might add some more things like candles and the skewer or the toothpick thing for the olive we might add some more flow i think i might just even like spill this wine bottle as well and yeah all right thanks for joining everyone thanks jasmine thanks excellence thanks derek thanks golden thanks rutuja thanks henry thanks brandon of course and everyone that i am missing i have to scroll back so up you guys have been chatting that is so awesome like this is so cool okay awesome this is my final render i will try to post it somewhere um so that you guys can take a look at it probably on my instagram yeah i'll do that so yeah all right i will go now bye guys thanks for joining see you next week